I'm Heather from Here Book Tubes, and today is an ebook haul. I also do have like two physical books, which is highly unusual for me. Since I started my channel, I've gained five physical books, and three of them were gifts. Three of them were gifts, and one was sent by the author, so I bought one. Uh, so yeah, I just really don't buy physical books. I don't need them. I don't. I don't need physical books. I have a whole discussion coming on minimalism and booktube and all the things. So I'm very excited about it. That's in uh, a couple weeks. So anyhow, these are all of the books that I've accumulated since uh, January or something like that. Whenever I did the last one, which I think was early January, I think. Doesn't matter. Literally does not matter. Anyways. These are all of them, so let's do the physical ones first. All right, for being on the Read My Lips podcast, which is hosted by Tara North, you can listen to the episodes here on YouTube or on Spotify. Um, she sent me Coin by Kay Webster. This is a motorcycle club with trauma and a daddy. I haven't read it yet, but you know, very exciting stuff. So that was very sweet of her to send me a book. And then... I had read A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane and I had bought A Touch of Stone and Snow. I haven't read it yet. Fantasy Romance is really good. This one, the this series, the paperbacks are cheaper than the ebooks and my library doesn't have them. So that's why I've been buying paperbacks. Fantasy Romance, I love it, truthfully. The first book is one of the best books I've read this year, for sure. All right, let's get into the ebooks that I've bought. Again, I'll buy a lot of them. I do not. I read almost exclusively from Kindle Unlimited and my library. And these are only books that I have not read yet because ain't nobody got time to talk about the same book 75 times. So if I haven't already read it, it's on the list. Number one, I bought Abel by Katie Robert. I think I actually pre-ordered this. This is Seven Brides for Seven Brothers retelling with like a ruthless business aspect and it's all like I think the whole series might be polyamorous. I'm excited. Have I read it? No. Am I excited? Yes. The second book is either almost out or already came out and the third one has at least the cover reveal. So I mean I'm excited. Then I also finally bought The Player by Cressley Cole. I read the first two books in this series years ago but my library doesn't have the third book for no reason um so anyhow so i haven't read it and i've wanted to read it all this time and finally i was just like i'm buying the book like i'm i'm buying it so i did it is bdsm this one i think is a con artist and he is just like i love you you can have whatever you want it's the third brother in the series there's Russian Mafia ties, at least for the first two. And I'm just super duper excited. Then I also bought an ebook, The Beast of Blackmore by Mila Vane. This is a prequel to uh, Her Blood and Ashes. And this one, I don't know what it's about. <laughs> but it's fantasy romance. And it was really, yeah. It's the prequel to my favorite book of the year. So I bought it. Then I also thought or downloaded for free or something the initiation by nikki sloan um i hear a ton about this series it's 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 questionable consent it's like yes yeah, she consented but also her entire family would lose everything if she didn't consent to that type of thing but it's like a dark initiation ritual thing for powerful businessmen and I'm pretty sure they all share her. I don't know. But a lot of my friends love these books. And they also like love Nikki Sloan. And in order to read her, I'm going to have to buy her. So we're going to read this one first and see <laughs> if I like it. Then that's all the ones that I bought. Nope, that was a lie. Moving right along, I bought A Taste of Her Own Medicine by Tasha L. Harrison. This is a small town romance. She is divorced. She's a single mom. She takes an entrepreneur class and like everybody else in the class is like 10 or 20 years younger than her, something like that. And then she sees the teacher and she's just like, I'm like, yes. I don't know what that says. Instincts? 
instructor. <laughs> instructor yes the teacher so um i think it's black love not 100 percent sure i think it is i loved tasha l harrison's if she says yes loved it i had to buy that one i had it as a recommendation they were like hey bethany in fact from thaney's thoughts thaney's book thoughts thaney's bookish thoughts something like that um she told me she was like I just read it it was great and I was like you know what I want to read it so I'm gonna buy it and I did and it was amazing it's an uh older woman younger man age gap it was in my top five books of February it was so good so anyways again in order to read her I have to buy her and I'm like I don't even care like if your books are as good as if she says yes I will pay you take my money truthfully I would pay every, I would pay full price. I would buy the print version of every book that I read for every author if I could. And then I would just, you know, pass the books on to somebody else rather than keeping them all in my home because I don't want to do that. But I can't. So I do have to pick and choose, especially if I'm trying a new author who I'm going to pay for. Like, I'm generally not going to do that. I'm going to do Kindle Unlimited in the library. Um, but also, like... You gotta do what you gotta do. Pirating is not the solution. Anyhow, I'm wildly excited. Wildly excited. Then I also bought, <laughs> I bought Nate by TJ. Paid five freaking dollars for this ebook. Cause I was in a new adult mood, which I just read it. I just finished a new adult today. Like I was in a new adult mood and I was like, oh, so I anticipated release. I really want to read Nate's story. I love Fallen Crest High. <sighs> then after I bought it, I read a one star review. <laughs> and I was just like, no, why? Because apparently this book is his ex is her dead sister and the mother of his child that he didn't know existed. I was like, uh. And apparently, according to this one star review, like the entire book is about the dead sister. And then it takes all my beloved characters from Fallen Crest High and makes them unlikable and unrecognizable. And I'm just like, no. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna read this book and I just spent freaking $5 on it. I'm just mad. That's why I don't buy books. It's just, I'm, I'm angry. Oh, I also bought the Stalkers Anthology because Brianna Hill is in there. I don't know why I did this. I don't read anthologies. <laughs> I think this is my third one that I've downloaded. I've never cracked one open, like, at all. Like, I don't do it. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Anyhow, I did buy that. <laughs> and it's a bunch of book. It's a bunch of stories about stalkers finding love, so... Then, from the library, I have Three Wishes by Kristen Ashley. This was messaged to me by somebody on Instagram. I'm literally the worst. I can't remember who. Like, the, everybody's usernames and stuff just blends together. Like, I don't see their face. I don't see their given name. It's just hard for, it's just hard for me to keep it all straight. Especially just, like, in my head, not looking at profiles. You know, like, if I'm on Instagram looking at the pictures, I can tell more, but... I'm not. So it's not there. Nonetheless, was somebody who was reading Kristen Ashley either because of me or we're friends because we both read Kristen Ashley. I have a couple different people. I just, I can't remember. It's, I'm sorry. Um, anywho. Three Wishes is this this little girl's family has a genie and like in all the time that they've had the genie they've only ever used one wish and then she like reads fairy tales or something and just wants like the love of her life and so she uses a wish on the love of her life and it's like a criminal man uh, so I think it might be like an Aladdin type guy that the genie gives her I don't know but I was like mmm you know what that kind of sounds good so and my library had it so <laughs> and also from the library on ebook i have fangs by sarah anderson i saw this on instagram back when it was being released in like september and it was in my 
or July. It was in my anticipated releases. I think it was September though. Doesn't matter. Literally doesn't matter. And it's a comic book of sorts or a graphic novel or something. I think it's a graphic novel. It does, I don't know what I'm talking about. Why, why try and define what I'm talking about when I actually don't know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, it's a vampire and a werewolf. They mean the bar, I think. But I was really interested in it because the female vampire is like a 200-year-old vampire. And I love reading paranormal females who are older than 18. You know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down here? I love it. It got my attention. And now my library has it on ebook. So I hope to like it. <laughs> Then I also have In the Hand of the Goddess by Tamora Pierce. This is for the read-along that Ashley from Bookish Realm and Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany are doing. I've talked about this in like every video recently. I don't care. I'm wildly excited about it. This is the second book. You can read both books in like a day. Catch up. The live show is on the 26th. You have time. It's so good. It's so good. It's a young adult fantasy about a girl pretending to be a boy so she can train to be a knight. It's glorious. She has a friendship with the prince. She has a friendship with the king of thieves. It's glorious. Then I also, from the library, have Heartbeat Braves, which is Crooked Rock number one by Pamela Sanderson. This is the book for the indigenous romance read-along that Beth, beautifully bookish Bethany is hosting. And um I think I think it's Thor needs a leather or something I I don't know her and I don't write it down because I'm a loser they're doing like the whole read along and then at least for this month Kim from Native Lady Book Warrior is going to be in the live show too and I'm really excited about that because I love her channel and I love her and this is gonna be like her first romance and I'm just excited so I really want to read this for the read along I it's going like maybe indefinitely but they have like through August or something already picked with indigenous um, romance authors and it's not even just North American indigenous authors it's from other countries as well and so I'm just very excited about it I'm really hoping to find some authors that I adore very excited then we get into my Kindle Unlimited checkouts I this is true for library and but especially for Kindle Unlimited I swap these out in and out all the time because I read it because I DNF'd it because I decided I'm not going to read it Sometimes I delete it and keep it on my to-read list. Sometimes I delete it and I take it off my to-read list. Like, these are, yeah, I swap them in and out all the time. I have Getting Schooled by Christina C. Jones. This is a college romance between, like, two professors or a older student and a professor or something. But it takes place at a college. It's Enemies to Lovers, I think. I have Adore You by Nicole Falls. This is the playboy brother of her ex is trying to prove that he's the perfect man for her. I have The Stranger number four by Chance Christopher. These are like very short serials of a male male romance with which starts as a literal one night stand. Like he doesn't even know this guy's name. That's why it's called The Stranger. And then I have Rejected which is Shadow Beast Shifters. By Jamin Eve and she's rejected by her true mate her soul screams in vengeance when she's attacked and she calls to their shadow god and then I think she has like like he becomes her mate or something um a girl that I follow on Instagram she's like the coolest I think it's renditions of a romance novel teaches pole dancing and she also reviews romance books and She's just very cool. I like her a lot. We formed a friendship because we both really like Jessica Godzilla. <laughs> Anyways, I had seen this book around. I was really interested, but I was like, um, rejected true mate. This sounds traumatic. Do I want to read this? I mean, that's not how I am. So I messaged her about it and she like could not stop raving about it. She was like, it's so good. It's so good. She's like, I read the first two books like this and then the third one doesn't come out to the end of the March. So I was like, mm, maybe I'll pick it up in March and see if it's for me. Cause if so, like I can 
not have to wait super long for the release and also like have something to be excited about so it's a possibility then i have dirty kisses by kenya wright this is the this is a russian mafia romance with a it's a black woman in new york i want to say that she is from a family of immigrants or something too and the and the russian mafia and she's like forced to um scrub their money or something like that i don't know she gets sucked in gets taken over by the south that i've heard nothing but good things it's the taboo book club pick for march and tamika from library of tomes and ashley from bookish realms um ashley's the co-host for this month and you know i love my taboo book club because i love tamika and i love the taboo book club and i'm very excited to read it kenya wright has like really um spicy <laughs> illustrations in her books and i'm excited like it's been on my list and then tamika told me that would probably be march's pick and i was like oh well then i'm gonna put it off and read it in march and i'm so excited Stolen by the Wolves, Viking Omega verse number one by Lix Robinson. Maybe. Uh, slow burn, Viking. It's supposed to eventually be reverse harem. So I think in the first book, it's just one love of interest. Magic, and they're not shifters. Literally, all these books, I might D and F. So take it with a grain of salt. My Kindle Unlimited, all my books are very interchangeable. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. And then I have The Devil, which is Devil's Playground, number one by Ashley Jade. This is a dark romance. There's Hate to Love, and it's polyamorous, and Tamika swears that it's amazing. <laughs> shot and then I also have the dare I just literally keep mentioning the same people over and over again it's fine the dare by Harley the rude this is like kinky like wild kinky erotica and Ashley from Bookish Realm said that it was weirdly good and I was just like it's pretty short and they pack a lot in there I'm curious let's leave it at that and then lastly for right now um <laughs> This list could be different at the end of the day. I'm just going to be honest with you. Omega Academy by Lily Archer. I've read Lily Archer's Faye. And I like Omegaverse. And Izzy from Happy For Now just did an Omegaverse vlog and got me in the mood for it. So, or no, I already I already was in the mood. I already had the Viking one. Have I read one? No, but I'm in the mood. So it's downloaded. <laughs> she really, really liked this one. And it's Reverse Harem. And it's an academy, and it's an Omegaverse, and she really liked it, and it's pretty short. And I'm like, all right, let's give it a try. We shall see. <laughs> and they're all books that I haven't read yet, so there you go. That's my video. I hope you found something that sounded interesting. If you've read any of these and you're like, oh, you'll love it, or that's trash, you will literally hate it. Please let me know. Save me the pain. That would be great. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.